Hi Watch Fam, it is Phil here at the Loom Room, so thanks for checking in. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this, which I just received today at the office, which I was absolutely delighted. I feel as though I've been waiting on this for forever. Um, and it finally arrived, so I'm absolutely delighted. So without further ado, actually, wristwatch check. And today... I am wearing the Rolex Air King 116900. I absolutely love this watch. It's my favourite watch. And it's been spending a lot of time on the wrist. You can probably see why. That's an absolute beaut. But anyway, this is what we're going to be looking at today. And I will get this opened. Hopefully I won't need a knife. Let's see. Uh, Managed it. Because that was quite a big bag for such a small small package. So there's nothing else in that. So what we've got here is your bubble wrap. Looks as though it's got one piece of cellar tape around it to keep it secure. Better watch my fingers here. My tiny knife. Are you okay? That's that done. I was going to try and preserve that bubble wrap, but that ain't happening. Let's get that out of the way. And then it looks as though you've got a cardboard sleeve here protecting what is inside. There's nothing else on that. Yep. Roll that down and oh here we go so this looks like a little uh what would you call this travel pouch travel case for a watch and so this is quite funny to you guys won't be able to feel this but so this here feels quite sturdy quite hard it must have some sort of uh, backing inside it but the top here is really spongy and really soft i quite like that and then you've got the Prometheus logo and name there. So that's pretty cool. Not overly fancy, quite simple, but very cool, if you ask me. So let's see what's inside. Ooh. Okay. I've got polished iron here. Oh. Just revealed the watch. Did you guys see that? A little picture of a ship. We'll get to this later. Uh, looks like a warranty card. Yeah, that's a 24 month limited warranty. So we can keep that there. I don't know, that's to keep it fresh. Me. And then here we go. Let's just. Open this up. Wow. Okay. Let's just lift it out. It's actually ticking already. I thought it would have been stopped. Most of the watches are stopped once I receive them. But this is obviously... I had it in a backpack. And yeah, it's obviously got some sort of... Uh, it's had some movement, so yeah, that's obviously started the automatic movement inside it. Jeez, look at that dial. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so what is this? Well, it's the Prometheus Zenobia. And it was basically made for the Divers Watches Facebook group. That is the group... It was founded in 2011 and it now has over 51,000 members in it. I happen to be one of them. So if you are too, then yeah, it's great to be part of it. Uh, so how much was this? Well, it cost $100 deposit. Okay, wait for it. It wasn't $100 total. So $100 deposit and then that was to secure your piece. 
and then you paid the balance off. The remainder was $450 uh, once they were actually made and been ready to ship. Then you paid that extra $450 or the remaining balance of $450. Now, the thing is, I actually paid an extra on top of that. So that's $550 in total. I paid an extra $103. I think there was a couple of pennies in there as well. Uh, for VAT uh, or VAT, and that is for European Union customers. Now, okay, it was kind of my fault. That was in the small print. It is, well, I say small print, it is quite clear on their website. I ordered this direct from Prometheus website. Um, these are now sold out, by the way, pretty much all the colours. We'll get to the colours in a second. Um, so I did get stung with that extra $103. Uh, again, ugh, it was kind of my fault because I didn't pay attention. When I seen these went live, I was just went straight onto the website and buy, buy, buy. So there you go. Uh, so these are limited, limited to 300 pieces. And that 300 pieces basically, um, so there's 11 options in total. So that's 300 is divided by 11, 11 uh, options. Those options are, well, they're color options and then you get date options. So the colors are black, so you get a black no date and a black with a date. Blue, and again, that comes with the date option. Uh, a green with date option. The yellow, which is this one, my one. Uh, this also came with a date option as well. I prefer the no date. I've always preferred no dates, as you can see. Um, I just think it gives the dial a cleaner aesthetic. Um, it's totally up to, obviously that's a personal thing, but I just prefer it. Like I say, I think it's cleaner. Uh, back to the colours, you also got an orange. It was a very vibrant orange. That was really cool. And that came with a date as well. And there was also the option for Meteorite. Now, the Meteorite never came with a date. That was, um, yeah, Meteorite dial with no date only. And those colours, actually, there is meaning behind the colours. So the colours represent the countries, um, the countries of the story behind um, the ship, the Zenobia. Uh, that one of them being Sweden. Um, where the Zenobia was built, and Cyprus, um, where that ship actually sank. I'll get to, I'll, I'll tell, I've actually got a little story behind the Zenobia, and like I said, I will get to that a little bit later. So there you go. Uh, a little bit of stats on this watch. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little detour of it. There you go. Bracelet. Bracelet's pretty cool. Um, you've got these polished center links, and I can remember watching videos, uh, preview videos of these watches, and I thought they were really cool. The, the bracelet is really cool, and it's like it's it's pretty damn solid. But the polished center links, I don't know. I would have preferred if those were all brushed. Um, that's just me. You've also got the clasp here that is milled. I've got to say that is. That's pretty damn solid. And I believe, yeah, this has actually got a diver's extension as well. Ratcheted. So yeah, this is all solid. I think I've actually seen, and then you've got the Prometheus logo there. I think I've actually seen this uh, class being used on other micro brand uh, dive watches. But there you go. I quite like it. I mean, it does It does kind of suit this. It, it's kind of got a, a retro vintage, I don't know, 70s look about it. I think it does suit it, but yeah, I would have preferred all brushed. But that's just me. I'm thinking about putting this possibly on rubber. We will see. Okay, so some of the stats. This is a 43 millimeter case. Um, so that's going to be your side to side, the, basically the, the diameter of it. 49 millimeters lug to lug like that i should really have like a measuring thing mm, i'll maybe think about that for future videos 13.6 millimeters thickness so that is your case back to the top of your crystal and then 22 millimeter lug width so if you're thinking of if you've got this watch and you're thinking about changing straps you want to be looking at a strap that is 22 millimetres wide. Um, 
the crystal on this, speaking of the crystal, it is actually three millimeters thick. So yeah, this is this is a hefty watch. This is a chunky watch. It's got a 500 meter depth rating. Let's see if that can focus in. As you can see there, yeah, Zenobia Professional 500 meters. And then you've got the little dive watch group diver guy. Scuba dude. Screw down crown, as you can see here. And that's got the little Prometheus logo on it as well, which matches the dial just up here. So that attention to detail is really nice. That looks as though the crown's been polished, brushed on the sides. Yeah, that is some nice detail right there. And then let's have a look at that bezel as well. Well, I'll tell you what, before I do any of that, let me take this. I can probably take that off. Tweezers. Chuck that in there. And there you go. It looks so flat. Crystal on this. It's like a tabletop. That really is beautiful. Uh, yeah, so the, the bezel on it, 120 click, that is a ceramic bezel. And it is actually filled with Super Luminova BGW9. So the part that I love best is the click. How does it sound? Yeah, that's got a good action. That's solid. Absolutely solid. Lines up. 100% perfect. Happy with that. That works. Okay, so. Why the Zenobia? What is the Zenobia? Well, I've got a little story here for you, if you're willing to listen. If you're not, feel free to turn off, but, well, here you go. Zenobia was a cargo ship, which is actually now sunk. And this alludes to it. Uh, so, I'll tell you a little story. The Zenobia was built in Sweden and delivered to our owners in 1979. She left Sweden on her maiden voyage bound for Syria on the 4th of May 1980, loaded with 104 tractor trailers with cargo destined for the Mediterranean and the Middle East. She passed through the Strait of Gibraltar on the 22nd of May 1980, stopping first at Heraklion Crete and then to Athens, Greece. On the way to Athens, the captain noticed steering problems and the Zenobia began listening to port. Following checks, it was determined that the list was caused by excess water that had been pumped into the ballast tanks. This water was pumped out and she then departed for her second to last stop at Larnaca, Cyprus, before reaching Syria. She arrived at Larnaca on the 2nd of June 1980, where the ballast problem reoccurred. Engineers discovered that the computerised pumping system was pumping excess water into the side ballast tanks due to a software error, making the list progressively worse. On the 4th of June, Zenobia was towed out of Lornica Harbour to prevent her becoming an obstruction should the worst happen, and was left to anchor roughly 1.5 miles offshore. On the 5th of June, with the ship listing at around 45 degrees, the captain dismissed the engineers and maintenance crew and requests from the captain to return her to Larnaca Harbour were denied. At around 2.30am on the 7th of June 1980, Zenobia capsized and sank in Larnaca Bay. And if you look at the case back... It has actually got the exact coordinates of where she sank.
She sank um, to a depth of roughly 42 metres, taking her estimated £200 million worth of cargo with her. There were no casualties in, the, the, in this disaster. She still lies in that exact spot today, where it serves as a refuge for maritime life and is ranked in the top 10 sites in the world for wreck diving. So watch people. What do you think? I love her. I think she's a really cool watch. That's all I'm going to say about her. That's been the Zenobia. I've been Phil. Thanks for checking in.